Hello, I hope you've been well. I have just this little thing to talk to you about. Quite recently, I've been through tremendous pain. I've had health issues, but thank the most high, I feel much better now. But I have this little thing to talk to you about. You see, in that moment of great pain, I felt my soul leaving my body. And I thought to myself, if I die now, who is going to pray for me? Have you ever tried to find out? Have you ever tried to ask yourself that question? If you die today, who is going to pray for you? And that caused me to reflect upon my life choices. And I haven't made the best life choices. Nah. And so I tell you right this moment, make yourself company surround yourself with people with whom you share the same goals i don't want to die and go to purgatory i don't want to they suffer a lot i don't want to have to suffer on earth here well the suffering which i've brought upon myself and then go and suffer in purgatory nah i'd rather my life pray for those in purgatory those forgotten souls in purgatory and forgotten souls here on earth those souls who have no one to pray for them spend my time pray for them and by so doing gain favor in the eyes of the just church and amend my ways and start praying now is the time to start praying for your soul like money which you store in the bank for as should in case start up prayer as well start up many prayers start up pray as many times as possible pray for as many persons as you can do your penance do your prayer do your alms giving store them up because they are going to help you on the day of judgment your particular judgment when you die Sure, you're going to have accusers, but you also want to have for yourself those who will defend you. And number one defender or the advocate or the lawyer is a blessed Virgin Mary. So, I need not emphasize, I cannot emphasize enough for us to pray a holy rosary. Right? This is our weapon, everyone. This is our weapon. So let's persevere in faith. Everyone, let's persevere. It's, I've had a fallout recently in my spiritual activities. I've had a fallout. I've relented a lot. I have a lot to confess about, to go to confession for. So much. I, I am not a saint. And those pains made me realize how much I need to pray and suffer more i saw those pains as a call to to conscience or to consciousness because i felt like i was sleeping awake sleeping awake which is a very dangerous thing very dangerous situation for my soul to be in in these trying times now nah. no one left behind no one should be left behind I am not saying these things because I'm perfect oh my gosh I am so imperfect and I am saying these things to inform you and remind you that there is light at the end of the tunnel I have braved up but I have stumbled so hard I have stumbled so hard and right now I'm trying to get my grip and climb back up and this is mercy that the lord has shown to me and i try my best by the grace of the most high to take even if it's an inch of a step at a time and not rush over my steps to let her stumble again i'm tired of stumbling so i encourage us guys pray pray is the only thing we have Mwah.